Next up, we have Jeffrey Burke, the CEO of Trip Kicks. Jeff. Hi, everyone. We're on a mission to make business travel better, and there's a lot of room for improvement. Business travel tech has always lagged behind leisure. With leisure, it's truly all about the traveler, but with business travel, the needs of the traveler are balanced with the needs of the company, and traveler experience is usually secondary. And previously, companies had to choose to focus on traveler experience, and many didn't. And that was okay when traveler experience was associated with more lenient policies, perks, and leisure. But this year, the focus of traveler experience has gone from being about feeling good to feeling safe. And at TripKicks, we're making business travel better by enabling companies to better focus on traveler experience to improve support, guidance, communication, and care for travelers. We plug into online booking tools to provide actionable insights or relevant and timely information to ensure that travelers have the data around entry requirements, what it's like at their destination, COVID-19, trip disruptions, and enhanced supplier information, like more eco-friendly options, where airline credits are available, and the latest cancellation policies and cleanliness protocols. We allow companies to better guide travelers, giving them everything they need within their booking tool <clears throat> where they expect it. Let's say you need to go to Tokyo for business. Where do you even start? I'm gonna bring in Steve. Steve, 60 seconds to get what you need to book a business trip to Tokyo. Challenge accepted. All right, go. First, I'll text Gary. He just got back from Tokyo. Maybe he can help me out. I can call the TMC. They're normally pretty helpful. Yeah, hello, this is Anthony with TMC. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to travel to Tokyo. What do uh, I need to know sure. about uh, Leaving out of Dallas, uh, I got an 8 a.m. flight. Uh, does that work for you? Sure, but what do I need to know about uh, traveling? Well, have you talked to security yet? Security? I'm not sure who it is, but uh, they could probably give you an update on what's important. Right, okay. All right, thanks, thanks for calling TMC. Right. We hope you have a great I'll just Google some of this. Can I travel to Tokyo? What's COVID like in Tokyo? Mm. Uh, Gary texted me back, and as usual, he's no help. Mm. I could call my manager. Hey, Steve, what's up? Ryan, I'm trying to get to Tokyo. What do I need to know to travel, Ryan? Right? I have no idea. I haven't left my house in five months, man. Okay, but if I wanted to travel to Tokyo... Call the travel manager. Ugh, travel manager. Hi, this is Donna, travel manager. How can I help you? What do I need to know to travel to Japan? We need to first find out if you can even get into that country, and then we need to find out if you need to be quarantined and whether or not, not it's even safe for you to go there. The first thing you need to know, and, and this is really, really important, is that... Oh, so close. Nice try, Steve. But here's what the process would have looked like with Trip Kicks. Travelers go to book just like they've always done, and Trip Kicks curates a variety of key insights into their search results so that everything they need is right there. Right now, COVID intro, entry, quarantine requirements, how suppliers are responding, it's critical. But travelers always need more information, and much of our data is timeless. Health, safety, visas, advisories, and enhanced air and lodging information, making it easier to select the best option, whether it's the most eco-friendly, on-time, top-ranked, et cetera. And we continue to integrate content via API to expand with insights and development like which options are the most popular and airport data. Companies can add custom data sources and dynamic messages to guide travelers in the right direction. But we don't stop with just insights. Companies can activate real-time spend guidance, helping to better manage costs. And this becomes more important as travel returns. Companies who want to maximize savings and employee benefits can activate our incentive module that rewards travelers when they go above and beyond what their company requires. We charge companies only a quarter of a percent of their book spend for TripKicks Insights to make it easy for them to add while travel's down, but the need for information is high. Our solutions influence traveler behavior in ways that benefit the company and the traveler working alongside booking tools, TMCs, and risk management providers. This is really our competitive advantage, what makes us unique. We don't replace anything. We fill existing gaps, making business travel better. We're integrated with SAP Concur, who's also a strong referral partner, complementing our direct sales. And we're in discussions with other online booking tools. Since launching Insights a few weeks ago, we have over 50 new enterprise companies moving through our sales pipeline, adding to our existing customer base. We've created a reseller channel for TMCs to expedite customer agreements and deployments. And we're enabling access to our API where third parties can connect directly to our insights. We're a lean team with strong leadership where it matters, sales, product, and business development. We recently won the People's Choice Award at BTN Innovate and are proud to be recognized by Focusrite as one of the leading startups heading into 2021. 
We believe that business travel and its technology should be better, a lot better. And with a renewed focus on traveler experience, we can not only help companies better prepare for the return of travel, but help business travel take a step forward. So let's get back to it. Thank you very much, Jeff. Well done, Dragons. Hey, Jeff, I, I liked the, the pitch. I will say I had to go on mute because I was laughing. So that's good, <laughs> that's always good. Um, a uh, question on uh, sourcing the actual truth. One of the challenges I found in this space is just a single source of truth given the various jurisdictions and ever changing uh, directives that are out there. So curious how you're doing that. Yeah, absolutely. It's certainly one of the biggest challenges, right? What, what we've done is we've worked to integrate um, various leaders in their respective categories of data into the product. So it was important for us to have a product that worked out of the box where um, a company could turn it on and it's got trusted sources in there, but we also wanted to build the flexibility so that, you know, if a larger organization is working with a duty of care provider um, or has another source that they wanted to plug in, we give them that ability. So we've integrated everything from, you know, public sources like Johns Hopkins and the World Health Organization for some of the COVID stats. Um, some of our entry restrictions we're getting from a partner of ours, Sherpa, um, who's in the, the visa business, so they specialize in that. Um, as well as you know, general safety and, and, and health information from the travel risk management vertical. And for some of the supplier data, we, we've brought in you know, feeds from ATP Co and, and third-party providers who specialize in, in certain niches. So um, it's certainly been important to us to make sure that we're bringing in top quality data that, that companies can trust while also allowing them the flexibility to kind of plug and play as they see fit. Jeff, what happens to TripTix in an era, I hope, Hopefully sooner than later, yeah. when uh, COVID nineteen becomes operationally under under control. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and that's something we actually started this concept of of more information at the point of sale bef before COVID. So we were we were you know going down the path of wouldn't it be really powerful if we could show business travelers which options are the most eco friendly? So the idea didn't even spawn from from COVID and the and the situation we're in now. Um, obviously, that that became a key focus of ours because of the need in the industry. But you know, there's always information that people are going to want to know, and companies always want to communicate more to their travelers to give them a little bit more guidance. So, you know, we're looking at things like passport, uh, visa, and passport information, I mean, general health enough, and safety. Is it enough information is it critical information, etc., <laughs> to keep your business uh, cranking. Yeah, we also have other modules though. So the spend and behavior guidance becomes important when travelers start, to, when companies start to reprioritize cost savings um, and also the employee benefits portion as well. So our intention is, you know, certainly insights will be a, a timeless product, but mm -hmm. as companies have different, have returned to their normal priorities, um, we have solutions that can, that can help them um, with those goals as well. Jeff, um, as you probably know, I'm an investor in Sherpa, so I'm going to just steer clear of that. But um, can you elaborate on the, the insights part of this? It sounds like this kind of interesting data side to the business. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, I mean, the insights is really where we're seeing a lot of the customer demand right now because companies are really seeing this data as critical to restarting their travel program. You know, company, travelers can go into an online booking tool and book anything they want, but that doesn't mean that they should, and that doesn't mean that they necessarily have the, the right information to make the best decisions. So that's what the Insights product is. So we're integrating into online booking tools to provide this data to corporations. Great. Thank you very much, Jeff. Well done. Thank you.